I'm Kristen and welcome to Studio Knit. Today we're knitting up these cute little quick knit acorns. It's a great yarn buster and perfect for your autumn decor. For our materials, we are going to use any yarn of your choice and corresponding needle size. Here I have um, some Erin weighted yarn and size seven needles, of course scissors and a tapestry needle. And don't forget a little bit of stuffing. These acorns are so cute. There's two parts, a nut and a cap. Let's get started with the nut. We begin making our beloved slip knot. And from there, we are going to cast on using the long tail cast on method. We are going to cast on 12 stitches. For our first row, since we're doing a stockinette stitch, it's going to be the knit stitch all the way down the row. And of course, I have the pattern linked in the description below, as well as all of the knitting techniques that you need if you want to brush up on anything here. And then row two is going to be purling all the way down the row. Now, once you have knit 10 rows total, then it's time to decrease. And we are simply doing the knit two together. So instead of picking up one stitch to knit, we knit two stitches together to decrease it down and we'll do that all the way down the row. So we're taking it from 12 stitches down to six. And then on the back here, we're going to decrease some more. Now this is the purl side. So we're going to purl two together. This might be new to some of you. Just like purling, just make sure to pick up those two stitches and purl the last two and we will have three stitches remaining on our needle. Now from here, for those of you who do not like to bind off, you're gonna love this. We cut our yarn and then using our tapestry needle, we are simply going to take our knitting needle off those stitches and go ahead and cinch them up nice and tight. And this is going to form the bottom of our little nut right there. There's the right side, that pretty stockinette. And then here on the other side, this is the back side. You can see all the pearls. And we are going to fold it right at this point. And using our tapestry needle, just tack up, seam up the edges right there. Really simple, you know, and any technique that you'd like, um, it really, it's gonna look great. And now we can just turn our little nut right side out so we have that pretty smooth stockinette stitch on the outside. And you might want to shape it a little bit with your fingers. And this is great. We can just go ahead and put those yarn tails, just tuck them on the inside right there. No need to weave in our ends at all, which I love. And then taking our stuffing, just use a little bit of stuffing to go ahead and give it some shape. Um, make sure not to overstuff it too much or else it will get very fat. <laughs> Okay, it is cap time. Now I'm using a red yarn here for the little topper, the cap of our acorn nut. And we are going to cast on 13 stitches this time. And once you've done that, we're going to do the seed stitch. If you're not familiar with it, this is a great introduction. You simply knit the first stitch and then you bring your yarn to the front and you're going to purl the next stitch. And you just repeat that pattern all the way down the row. So you'll knit one and you'll purl one all the way down until you get to the very last stitch, which since we cast on an odd number of stitches, is going to be a knit stitch at the very end. And now row two, we're going to do the exact same thing. We start with knit one, and then we purl one, and we continue this seed stitch pattern until we have knit eight rows. And here is our pretty seed stitch pattern. It looks so great, and both sides are identical when you're doing a seed stitch. Already, it's time to cut our yarn, take our little tapestry needle, and we are going to actually 
slide all of the stitches off our knitting needle. We are not going to have to bind off at all. So I like to do it slowly <laughs> and then go ahead and on the opposite side, go ahead and bring that yarn through those stitches and cinch it up. And that's gonna be the very top of our little acorn cap. So cute. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to tack the sides of um, our edges together. So just seam it up right there. And now with our little nut and cap, it is time to bring them together and simply place the cap over your nut. How cute. We're almost done. Now we just want to make sure that it stays secure. So I like using the cap yarn, which is red here to just kind of tack it into the nut and then we're going to bring it all the way up to the top slide it up and then taking those two yarn ends we are just going to knot them together a few times until you have a cute little stem and then you can just cut it off I hope you are inspired to knit up these cute little acorns it's a really fun project and a great yarn buster And make sure to check out my other quick knits that I love displaying for the Thanksgiving holiday. I have these beautiful harvest leaves as well as little mini pumpkin softies. So fun and cute to display during the Thanksgiving season. <laughs> Happy holidays, everyone. Bye.